So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do simple scales in Premiere Pro. So yeah, let's get started. So to start off, you obviously need your clips ready, so I've got them right here. And on the first clip, what you want to do is head to the start, keyframe that, and then head all the way to the end of the clip. And then you want to head one keyframe back. You can set this to anything you like. I recommend 150 or even 200. Once you have keyframed that as well, all you want to do is head back to the start. Now head back to the first keyframe, and now what you need to do is just click this arrow down here. Usually it would look like this but once you actually click it this bar will show up it's this line which will show the velocity of the scale anyways what you want to do now is click on the keyframe now you want to keep an eye on where it says velocity over here make sure that is not below zero otherwise it's going to look very strange you can change it by moving this keyframe up and down so if i move it down all the way to around okay 3.9 will do it just has to be close to zero now what you want to do is just drag it all the way to the right and do not worry about the velocity changing and then just let go and yeah you should see something like this you can mess around with the settings to see what is right for you now click on the last keyframe and all you want to do is just drag it right down to the bar and also pull it close to the right just like that and then move the last keyframe all the way to the end now you want to head over to the second clip and what you want to do is just keyframe the start head about 10 to 15 frames right just like that and keyframe it as whatever you like so for this i'm going to do 125 simply because it's going to look way too cropped if i do something like 150 you can barely see armin now you want to do the exact same thing again except this is going to be the other way around so all i'm going to do is go to the second keyframe and then drag it all the way to the left let go and then head over to the first keyframe and i'm going to pull it all the way back and also make sure the velocity is around zero it does not have to be zero exact it can be around that number and so if we play the clip back as you can see, we've basically done it. And if you want to, you can also pull the last keyframe all the way back right to the end of the clip. So then it's a bit more like smoother, I guess. So it will look something like this. What you can also do is go back to the first clip and if I actually do change the last keyframe to something like let's say 200 and then just pull it back to the end it's going to seem a bit more impactful. So if I play it back as you can see it just looks a bit more effective in some way. Anyways that is it for this tutorial. This was just a basic tutorial on how to do scales so you can do many more things. You can add blur, you can add different effects, you can do all sorts of things but this is just a basic tutorial for beginners. So yeah thank you for watching, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So so yeah, peace.